Jai Shri Ram, Satya Kal, and greetings to everyone from wherever you're watching. And this game is from Mandy 91, and this game is one hell of a miniature because the one playing with the white pieces is Misha Mikhail Tal, and, and the one playing with the black pieces is Roman Zinzi Kaspoli. And, and this game just shows how a few bad moves against a player of Tal's caliber and it could lead to insane, insane consequences. And I'm not going to keep you waiting for long because I'm excited about this one. I hope you are too. So, without further ado, let's start with this game. And Tal starts with e4, you know, he's ready for a fight. And we have c5, his opponent is ready for a fight as well. And we have knight to f3, but just knight to c6. And we have c3, Tal going for the Alepin variation. And we have this d5 right from the opening. And we have exchange, e captures, queen captures, and bringing out a queen right from the opening. Definitely an aggressive player. But you know what happens to aggressive player against Tal. Without spoiling much, that's definitely going to show because we have d mode. And now we have c captures, c captures, but just this e6. Now developing that bishop and developing that knight as well and just simply going for that castles. But it's not going to be that easy because we have this knight to c3 just attacking that queen. Now you're going to have to move the queen back and we have queen to d6. But now just this bishop to d3 and this knight to f6 going for that castles and plan. But now just castles by Tal. Just the silence before the storm because we have this bishop to e7 but now just rook to e1. And now... And instead of the rook to e1, you could also choose to go for some tactics. You could go for this knight to b5 attacking the queen. And only now, once the queen moves, you have queen to d8. But now you get this bishop to f4. Just going for that very nice poke. And and definitely, these are the big leagues. I mean, no one is going to fall for that. But And the opponent was just a few hundred rated below than Tal. So definitely, he's not going to fall for such moves. But we have. But to prevent that, there's only one move, which is this knight to d5. Just guarding that and also attacking the bishop. So you have to move. Bishop back, bishop to g3, but now it's castles, and only after rook to c1. Now piling up on that weak c file, you play this knight c to b4, just attacking that bishop. But now you could go for this knight to c7, and after knight captures, bishop captures, the queen moves, and after bishop to b1, you'll get this knight to d5, just attacking that bishop and trading. Black would be very happy to trade that bishop. That bishop would be a very strong piece, especially you know the way Tal uses his bishops. So we have this queen to c2, nicely going for that mate, but just g6. And after queen to d2, you'll have this bishop to d7. And after bishop to g3 back, you'll have this position, which Black would definitely thoroughly enjoy. So maybe that's why Tal did not choose to go for that. But instead, just a simple rook to e1. And here, just castles by Black, nothing much. And after bishop to g5, but now this rook to d8. Just piling up on that weak b4 pawn, but we have this queen to d2. Tal is definitely slowly planning something. You can choose to capture that pawn, but I don't think you should be grabbing pawn when you're playing against Tal. And we have this knight to b4, just attacking that bishop, but we have this bishop to c4. And Black developing his bishop as well, and Black goes for bishop to d7, but now just rook a d1. And here after bishop to c6, now getting that bishop to a very nice square. We have this knight to e5. Tal would be very much happy to trade that bishop for a knight. And we have this bishop to d5. But now, this bishop to d5 is actually just a blunder. You don't want to place that bishop to a very weird square. You could always trade it for the knight. But there was an even amazing move that gives Tal amazing positional advantage. And that move is nothing but just simple a3. And now you see the problem because you cannot grab that bishop first attacking the queen. Because if you go for that, you would be in a loss. You would lose your piece because here the knight cap. Because here your queen is under attack and your knight is under attack as well. You cannot save both. So instead what you would want to do is just move the knight back. But here after this a knight captures. Now after this e captures you move the bishop back. And this bishop can always be removed here. Queen can be placed on d3. There would be immense pressure along this file. This knight can be... This knight can be any day be captured. Otherwise you're going to have to play a move like g6 to further weaken your king side. So Tal, knowing Tal, you know that he's going to enjoy this position. But Tal immediately jumped in for action. He went for this knight captures on d5. And white is still better, but not as better as it would have been with this a3 move. But Tal did not see that. And but Tal did not see that. And you know, you always cannot calculate everything. And here this knight captures on d5, but now this rook to d3. And here just h6. And this h6 moves just completely, completely blunders the game. Because I know what you're all thinking. And the move is as simple as this bishop captures on h6. Because now you see the problem, because if you go for this G captures and this Queen to D2, and now there's immense pressure, and this Rook can always join the party as well. There's nothing better but to go for this Queen to B4, and asking for a Queen trade, but definitely you're not going to be trading Queens here. You would go for this Rook to G3 check, and after King to F8, you would go for this Queen captures on F6, and now you're going to have to run away. King to E8, but now this King to F1 has a nice prophylactic move, and here after Rook Bishop to F8, just attacking the Queen, you'd have this Queen to G5, and after Rook AC8, just attacking that Bishop, now you go for this amazing bishop caps on b5 and after knight captures 
you have this spectacular spectacular move with this knight caps on it so, and the trouble is that you cannot grab this because if you go for the g6 check and only now once the king moves now this will be checkmate so instead how this hypothetical position could unfold would be this queen captures on e1 and after king captures now you grab this knight as well so you would have three pieces for the queen but now a queen against a rook i mean with your king side being bust open like this i mean you're not gonna be winning this game especially against the but Tal again actually missed the move and he went for this bishop back to c1 but he knew that there was something in the position and I mean in a few more moves if you're not able to defend properly Tal is definitely going to find it. I mean you cannot risk it against Tal and here rook a to c8 was paid just developing that rook finally but rook g3 and now there's too many threats because here king to f8 was paid just trying to run away but this again bishop to b3. Tal again did not find the killer blow and here rook to c7 but now this queen to f3 was paid but here rook to c8 and now finally doubling up on the c file and here bishop to d2 was paid just moving the bishop out of harm's way but we have this a6. I mean when all the fire is along the king side when all of these pieces with the bishop being developed you play a slow move like a6 I mean you know it's gonna have devastating consequences. And here I'm gonna ask you to try your luck, pause the video and try to find this spectacular, spectacular move Tal played while I give you a couple of seconds. So congratulations to everyone who's able to find this move and the move is unfortunately not bishop captures. If you were thinking that, it's a bit too slow. The move is this spectacular rook captures on g7. Tal sacrificed the rook and there's pretty much nothing better. If you just leave the rook hanging and try to move the king away, you're gonna lose your further pawns. And here this king captures was played, but Tal kept on sacrificing more material. He went for this bishop captures on h6. And here you cannot be greedy if you go for this king captures, then you get this spectacular, very nice poke and winning the royal poke, winning the queen. So instead black tried this king to h7 but now this just further leads to trouble because here just queen to h3 was played and now after knight to g8 this knight to g8 just completely completely blunders the game because now you all see the move i'm sure you all see it because here just bishop to f8 a very nice discovery and it was on this move on just move 26 that romans in the casually resigned the game and i hope all of you can see it because here the only move is bishop blocks queen captures and now after knight blocks queen captures and only now once the king moves you fall for this checkmate so roman saw that in just 26 moves he designed the game and tal created this beautiful beautiful miniature and i hope you enjoyed it so yeah thank you all for watching i'll be coming up with an amazing game from this world and beautiful games like this so stay tuned that and i'll see you guys very very soon thank you all.